Hello everybody, this is Mangi from Rock Paper Copy. You can find us on www.rockpapercopy.com. We are e-commerce and social media marketing experts. And today I wanted to talk to you about a question that often um, appears in discussion groups and forums and is being asked by the new store owners and it is how to pick the right products to sell. So basically if you want to um, open an online store but you still haven't decided on the merchandise, this is a simple process to use. Maybe it's not uh, that simple but it is obviously it comes with an extensive research so it's worth noting that you have to put the hours of work um, to make this idea successful. So basically I'm going to do a walk through how to, um, well the first part, how to basically start the research and the platform that we're going to use is simply eBay. Now eBay is um, offers a lot of information if you dig deeper and I'll show you how to do it. eBay obviously attracts um, online shoppers. This is um, almost the first destination that you think of when you think about buying something eBay and Amazon. And eBay um, can show you the trends. So it can show you what items are selling the most. And if you if you have got this information you know what kind of items people are interested in so it can give you some kind of direction into which niche you should pick because obviously this will be the same people shopping on ebay and shopping on your website obviously this will be your um, target customers ebay obviously attracts more general um general audience so you need to you need to take uh you need to take that into consideration so the first place we go is um, we're going to pick category. Obviously you still don't know which category to pick. So we can just choose um, any category that we feel um, comfortable with. Um, let's say we can pick home and garden. I'll open the link uh, in a new tab. So home and garden. Um, what else? and perhaps fashion. Okay, let's go for women's fashion. Okay, and here's here are women's fashion. Let's pick dresses. And we still we can still choose um, we can still differentiate from um, from other styles. What I wanted to do at the moment is to um, click advanced next to the search button and I'm going to show you how to how to customize the search results to see um, to see the um, what what products are the most popular in this particular category. You can do it with any other category on eBay. So here we have uh, advanced search and we can pick additional additional options. So we can, for example, search and we can um, search by keyword. We're not going to use that. And here, buying formats. Um, I'm going to click auction because auction will give us idea which item attracted the most attention, which had the most bids, mo most a num number of bids, and also. I don't want to see the current auctions. I will limit the search to completed listings or even better to sold listings to see um, which items have sold and which of them had the most amount of bids, which of them attracted the most attention. So these are the only two um, two, uh, two selections that I do. You can do a number of them, but that's what I do. Obviously, you, you can pick if, if it's only um, located item in US if you want to limit your your audience to uh, to United States. Basically, once this is done, I'm just going to highlight 100 products per page. All results and click search. And I'm not sure, it doesn't always work, but it takes us to the whole um to the whole search um 
search results. I'm not sure why. Okay, let's try to do it again. So this is home, um, home and garden. If we click on baby products, let's say nursery bedding. And then um, maybe I didn't click on the um, on the categories. Okay, so let's click on baby category. Sorry about it. So baby category, sold listings, auction format. The same again. It's just um, you need to pick category as well. Hundred results per page, and here we go. We've got we've got the search results. And now to see which items have been the most popular. These are the um, these are the sold products. Some of them have got one bit. Some of them have got ten bits or more. So obviously these are the most popular. I'm going to customize the search results even a little bit further and add price highest first, so you know which items sold for the most. Okay, this sold for. Whopping nineteen thousand uh, dollars, over nineteen thousand dollars. So this is a video baby monitor. Um, so you see that these items sell sell for quite a lot of money, and if they've got like three thirty two bits, you know that there are plenty of people interested in this product. Additionally, you can always check the uh, completed list and see. If there are actually more people bidding on this item or maybe just two people having a bidding war because it often it often counts as a bid as well if, if just two people out, try to outbid each other just because the item had one bid but sold for um, for big amount doesn't guarantee that this particular item will attract more audience obviously you want to go for the items that have got the most most audience so um, 65 bits for example vintage vintage huggies adult baby diaper di diapers so maybe this is another uh, this is very very niche very very limited niche I'm not sure if you if um, if it's worth going because obviously the um getting getting merchandise as to unused uh, vintage diapers would be tricky um, okay, this kind of uh, this kind of listing 20, 28 bits. So obviously, you see which kind of brands are popular. It's kind of um, Orbit Baby, Car Seat, uh, Unused Inbox. Obviously, this is quite um, quite a good one to go. Um, this 56 bits. Um, so this is some kind of um, uh, limited edition stroller uh, for jogging or for you know very very it's not it's uh, it's very lightweight so I suppose that's why it was so popular okay this has got 51 bits so you see so you say how to do it and once you do it for this category category you can check other category and you can note you can have you can create um Google um, Google Documents note and see which items are selling in which category. This is the first step. This will give you idea to to go to um, to, to go to the next step and actually um, research further. Research the um, the target customer. What are they searching for? What what is their budget? And uh, then find the suppliers. So I hope you found it useful. This um, guide was brought to you by Rock Paper Copy and you can find us on www.rockpapercopy.com. We can help you with uh, search engine optimization, market research, um, website redesign and getting more relevant traffic through social media marketing. If you like this video, please subscribe and like and follow us on social media at Rock Paper Copy. Just rock paper copy. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.